Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to work a cable for front and a cable for back. So I'm working on a beanie here with this beautiful yarn. And I'm going to be working cables using cable for front and cable for back. I am working in the round. So you'll need a cable needle, looks something like this or it could just be as simple as a double pointed needle. They do come in different sizes. I think this one's a little bit bigger. So this is how I remember it. When you're looking at a stitch, this is C for B. So the number is going to be the number of stitches you're going to work that cable. And the B and F for back or front That'll tell you where to place the stitches once you put them on the cable needle. Okay, so I've just knitted two stitches and then this pattern calls for a cable for back. So what I'm going to do is slip two stitches because we're working over four stitches. I'm going to slip the first two stitches. And when you slip your stitches, make sure you slip purlwise so that they are not twisted. And because this is C4B, which means back, I'm going to place those two stitches in the back. And then I'm going to knit these two stitches. Now I'm going to knit the stitches that are on my cable needle. You can place these back on your left hand needle and knit them, but you can also just knit them right off of the cable needle. Okay, so that is your C4B cable for back. I'll go ahead and show you that one more time. So I'm going to knit the next two stitches. Now I'm ready to work my C4B. Grab the cable needle, slip off two stitches, place it in the back, and then knit the two from your left hand needle. And then knit the two from your cable needle. Okay, so you can already see that these cable stitches are leaning towards the right. So C for B, you'll see the stitches go in this direction. And then the C for F, you'll see it go this way. So I'm going to continue this pattern until I need to work the C for front. So the C for F, and I'll show you how to work that. You can do this without a cable needle. So what you want to do is grab these two from the front of your work, because remember these should be in the back. You can place these ones on, on there first and then place these back. So whatever you're comfortable with, that's just one less step. Basically, you just want to switch those sets. So that's how you would do it without a cable needle. Okay, so now I'm ready to work the cable for front. So abbreviation is C4F. Again, just remember that the number indicates how many stitches we're going to work. And then the F or B is for placing the held stitches in the back or in the front. In this case, it's C4F for front. So I'm going to place two stitches on the cable needle. Again, this is slipped purlwise. This time, I want to leave it in the front. So in the C4B, I placed this cable needle in the back. So now that it's in the front, I'm going to knit the next two stitches. Now I'm going to come back and knit the stitches from the cable needle. I'll show you that again. 
Okay, so you're going to slip the first two stitches and place it on your cable needle and then you're going to place it in the front. You're going to knit the next two stitches and then you're going to knit from the cable needle. So that is it. Okay, so you can see down here where I went C4B, which caused my stitches to go to the right. The C4F makes my stitches go to the left. Okay, one more time. Slip two onto cable needle, place it in the front, knit two, and then knit two from cable needle. I'm going to knit two. That's what my pattern calls for. And again, you can also do this without the cable needle. So these two you want in the front. So what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to try and pick these two up from the back. As I'm doing that, I'm going to slide these two off and then place it back here and then place the other two back on there as well. Okay, now I'm just going to knit these like I normally would because I've already switched these stitches around. Okay, I'll show you that again. I want my first two stitches that would have been slipped onto a cable needle in the front. So I'm going to go from the back to insert my needle through these two stitches here. When you slide them off, the first two are going to fall off and then you're just going to catch it or pick it back up with your left hand needle. Place these two back on your left hand needle and then knit as usual. All right, so that is how you knit a cable for front and a cable for back. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. This is a new pattern I'm designing, so if you're interested in this pattern, it should be released sometime in the near future. Follow me over at Designs by Vanessa on Instagram. That's the platform that I usually post all of my photos and announcements for any release of new patterns or for testers. For more information on testing one of my patterns, you can visit my website at designsbyfinessa.com and you will find the application in the drop down menu. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.